hi you are welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome thank you all for watching my videos may god bless you all please we are coming to learn how to make a straight slate with the overlap slate at the back so if that's what you want to learn then let's get right into the video so i've put in my lining in the wax print i have a video on the channel how to put the lining in the fabric or wax print before you do your slate so if you want to learn how to do it, you can check it we want it to overlap at the back the overlap will be big so we'll measure seven inches seven inches like this so we measure seven no let's make it eight inches we'll measure eight inches eight inches like this so eight then you measure eight then you measure eight now we we'll secure it with the pins like this so this is the eight inches you secure it with your pins so this is it we we'll a straight line to give us the cut line for the stitches so i'm rolling the line you rule your line like this you rule your line like this so this is it we'll slit the back 20 20 inches it depends on the length of the person but i want it to go up so we'll measure from the top where the rope will come we'll measure from here up to here 15 inches i want the slit to come under my bombs i hope you understand under my bombs the paper i don't want the slit to be short i want it to be long so we'll measure from the top 15 inches then you mark so we'll sew from the top where the rope will come up to the 15 inches so let's measure the slits so we are slitting 28 inches at the back so i'll take it to the machine so we'll sew from here to here so i'll sew from the top to the 14 or 15 inches that i measure okay 15 inches so i'll sew and bring it for us to see so let me take it to the machine so you can bring it for us to see so i finish sewing here so i'll secure it with pins then we shape our sleeve so this is it the eight inches you won't open it if you open it that means you want to slit the open one but this one will overlap one will be on top of the other one so you pin it like this you pin both you see i've opened it so you pin both the it inches to the back piece you pin it like this so after this then we shape our slate so this is it i've secured it with pins so this is how this is how it will look I hope you can see so now we are coming to shape the slit you turn it like this so you use the your measurements or the measurements you are working with to shape the slit for us to see the middle you have to measure we have 27 inches so you divide it into two so 13 and a half so you make sure the where you've sewn the line will be at the 13 and a half 
so that you get the middle part so we are making 13 and a half so this, this is 13 and a half now we have our 27 so this is it now we are coming to shoot the slit so the hip we are working with is 45 inches so you divide the 45 the measurement you are working with into two so i will make the measurement so that we see so i've made it so you so you measure from the top where you put the rope uh, the hip i'm working with is 45 so i'll measure 10 and add one inch for the sewing allowance so 11 so i'll measure 11 inches like this by the time i will finish it will be 10 so you measure your 11 and quarter 11 and quarter like this i hope you can see so this is your 11 and a half then you roll a straight line like this like this and you secure it with your pins you secure it with your pins like this because it will overlap will taper the the down part so that it will be small like we'll make it 18 inches at the bottom part so 18 divided by 2 is 9 so 18 because of the hip oh, that's why i'm making 18 if your hip is smaller than that you can make it 17 16 up to 14 inches so this is it i'll secure here too with the pin like this like this then i'll turn it like this and give it a straight line or rule a straight line but if you don't have a long ruler you can fold it like this and iron it and iron it like this you still get your line but i'll use my yardstick give it a shape so this is it so i'll do same here so i'll do same here so you sew from the end up to here you sew the same thing then you fold here i taught you in the last video the trending slit i made so you fold it like triangle like this you don't put it on the stitches no it will be behind the stitches then you sew it like this i hope you can see when you finish sewing this the shape then you fold it like this then you sew it like triangle then you do the same at the other side so let me go and sew it and bring it so that we continue from there so this is it i finished shaping it this is what i was talking about you fold it triangle then you sew. you see the stitches didn't pass on the first line you have to go behind now we'll sew where the overlap it would it would it would it depends sorry on how you want it if you want to slant it like this you can slant it if you want it straight you can do it straight you can slant it i want mine straight so i will rule a straight line like this i hope you can see what i've made so you sew from here up to here if you want it to be slant you slant it like this then you sew it like this by one line straight 
the slanting one too is nice but i want my straight so i will show you straight like this and put the rope in it and bring it for us to see the finish look so i finish sewing the back so this is how it will look when you remove the pins from it this is how it will look it will overlap like this i hope you can see you hem this side and this one will be like that so this is the overlap so you hem the one that will be on top of the slit sorry then you leave this one like that the one you sewed you sew you see so it will overlap like this so when you are walking then it will be open like this so this is the overlap and this is the rope so pin the rope for you to see the middle you mark it with your chalk with your chalk like this then you put the rope like this make sure you also on the rope then you pin it all around And you pin it like this. And you make sure you don't sew on the rope. So I'll I'll sew it and bring it for us to see the finished look. So this is it. After sewing where you you sew, then you hem the one that as fold inside or is fold inside so you hem here so i'm going to hem it and put it on the and put it sorry and put it on the um, dress form for us to see the finish look so i'm going to make the hem so this is the finished look this is the overlap this is the overlap like this so as you can see when you are walking this is where we sew so it will overlap like this so your body will not show it's a nice lit and a very elegant so this is the front this is the front this is the front this is how it looks so this is it this is where it's late so see you in my next one bye bye